Water is the most dynamic element you can add to your landscape. It's soothing, tranquil, and ever-changing with the seasons. The sights and sounds of nature create an inviting outdoor space where you can attract wildlife, relax, and learn about nature up close and personal. Savio Pond Free Systems offer the best elements of a pond. The sights and sounds of a lively waterfall or stream without standing water. So there's very little maintenance. They can be started and stopped on your schedule. A pond free waterfall and stream package transforms even a modest yard into a backyard oasis. Pond free packages come with professional quality components and contain everything you need except rocks, plants, and water. You can create a variety of water features with pond free systems, fountains, endless streams, and waterfalls. In this video, we'll show you how to create a disappearing waterfall with a stream. There are two parts to a disappearing water feature. The hidden portion, which contains an underground reservoir, pump, and plumbing, and the visible portion, which provides aesthetic beauty. First, you'll want to choose the best location for your water feature. We've selected an area that provides the best viewing angles from inside the kitchen and the home's back patio. We're going to take this plain backyard and turn it into something special. Let's get started. Use a tape measure to determine the total length of your waterfall or stream. Use marking paint to lay out your water course and basin areas. We'll begin by marking the area for the basin. These low water use systems require only a relatively small basin to contain all the water in the system. Now we're going to mark out the water course with our paint. We paint marks at several places between the basin and the top of the waterfall. These marks indicate the placement of cascades. You can place your cascades anywhere along the water course. The area you select for your basin needs to be flat. You can check this by placing a builder's level across the basin area. If you need to, add or remove soil to the edge until the bubble on the level is centered. Repeat this step on all sides until the basin edges are level. Next, clear the rest of the work area of rocks, debris, and plant material. In a flat yard like this, we'll use concrete block to give the waterfall some height. So we're going to smooth and pack the area in preparation. To create a waterfall in a flat yard, concrete blocks can be used as a quick and effective way to create a solid foundation for the water course. They also reduce the amount of backfill you'll need. Here we use a row of blocks as a barrier to protect the fence from moisture in the soil. To give the waterfall some height, place blocks in a stair-step pattern. This provides underlying structure and stability for your waterfall. Excavate the outlined basin area to a depth of 27 inches. Soil from the basin can be used as fill for your waterfall. Pack the soil in and around the blocks. You may need to bring in additional soil to build up the waterfall. Don't worry about covering the faces of the blocks. Use a shovel to flatten and square up the levels. When the basin is at its correct depth, smooth and tamp the bottom of the hole. Remove rocks and roots that can puncture the liner. Now you're ready to unpack the pond-free package. Everything you need is here, including a 32-page step-by-step instruction booklet. Back at the basin, we'll do a trial fitting of the waterfall well to make sure the basin is deep enough. Ensure that the well can set level in the hole. Here's a demonstration of how your equipment will be situated in the finished water feature. Remove the underlayment from its packaging. Geotextile fabric protects and extends the life of the liner. Place the underlayment over the basement and waterfall runway so that it covers the entire water course. It's best to start at the bottom of the basin and work your way up, smoothing wrinkles and folds. 
Unfold the EPDM liner and place it over the underlayment. Spread it completely over the entire waterfall course, smoothing wrinkles and folds. Oh, and remember to inspect your shoes before entering the basin, as rocks wedged in shoe treads can damage the liner. Leave plenty of extra liner on all sides of your water course. We'll trim the excess later. Now you can place the waterfall well into the basin and check that level one last time. We're using two to four inch cobblestone from a local supply yard. It's best to place these stones by hand, two or three at a time, to prevent tears or abrasions to the liner. When the basin is mostly full, remove the lid from the waterfall well. Cut out one of the two inch knockouts from one side of the well with a keyhole saw. Slide the kink free hose through the outside hole in the side of the well. Then finish filling the basin with cobble until only the waterfall well lid is exposed. Walk the other end of the hose up to the top of the waterfall. Conceal the hose beneath underlayment and the liner. To build a waterfall that has natural appeal, we want to give the waterfall four out of these five elements, drops, cascades, pools, bends, and splits. Drops give height and drama to the waterfall. Pools provide shallow areas for birds and plants. Bends make the water feature look more natural and provide opportunities for direction changes. Cascades are a smaller series of waterfalls that create movement and sound. Splits are caused by obstacles in the watercourse and provide visual interest. When you begin adding your rock work to your waterfall, start at the bottom and work your way upstream. We place rocks beneath the liner to define the edge of the stream bed. These rocks will be uncovered later when we trim the liner. Add some boulders to the interior of the stream in key locations. Rocks will need to be carefully placed by hand to avoid damaging the liner. Larger boulders may require a helper to position. Uh-oh, looks like we made a hole in the liner. Even a small tear like this will result in a leak. Fortunately, EPDM liner is easy to repair with a patch kit. While work continues inside the stream bed, a planting area is being created on the side of the waterfall. This area can be used for bushes, flowers, and other landscaping. Here we demonstrate how to build a series of cascades. Rock work should be secure and have no free movement. Loose boulders must be stabilized using additional stonework. Back at the top of the waterfall, we're about to attach the filter weir. Mark the position of the filter weir opening by rubbing the liner with a hard object such as a screwdriver or a blunt scissors edge. Cut the liner to the shape of the opening. Now you can secure the liner to the filter weir with a liner bracket by installing four screws into each corner. Then install the remaining screws, tightening each evenly by hand until they are flush with the faceplate. Trim the kink-free hose to length and connect it to the back of the filter weir. Use a hose clamp and screwdriver to secure. Backfill around the filter weir, covering the hose. Use stones along the fence to protect the wood from moisture in the backfill. Camouflage the face of the filter with more rock work. A small piece of liner is included with the kit to cover the top of the basin. Mark out the shape of the lid and cut one inch inside the scribe circle for a tight fit.
you may want to rinse the waterfall rocks at this point to wash away dust and soil particles that have gotten into the stream. Take the waterfall well lid off as you do this. Remove the silty water with a spare pump and a long hose lowered into the basin. Expanding black foam redirects water flow over rocks, filling in cracks and voids to create a professional looking waterfall. It adheres best to cool and damp rock work. Start at the top of the waterfall, working your way down in the direction of the water flow. The idea here is to seal up gaps underneath and between rock work from the upstream side. Freshly applied black foam sticks to nearly everything it contacts. Extreme caution should be used. We recommend gloves and old work clothes for application. Continue applying black foam the rest of the way down the waterfall until you reach the bottom. If you accidentally get some black foam on rocks where you don't want it, don't worry. Once dry, it will simply pop off as demonstrated. With a pond-free system, you can bring exotic species of plants into your yard. Pockets filled with gravel become bog areas for aquatic and semi-aquatic plants. Mix things up by placing varying sizes of rocks, gravel, and pebble stones throughout the watercourse. You can see that using a variety of stones begins the transformation of a work in progress to an actual stream bed. Trim the far corner off the small piece of liner that covers the basin to allow water to enter the underground reservoir. Be careful not to cut the liner below. We will now connect the pump to the waterfall well. Lower the pump assembly into the waterfall well and attach the hose. After the black foam is set up, which usually takes 30 to 45 minutes, remove the lid from the waterfall well and fill the reservoir with water. Stop when the water reaches the lower lip of the well. Before we go any further, let's test the installation to see if everything flows as expected. Your stream will quickly come to life as the pump delivers water to the top of the water feature and down the water course. With the water feature running, check for leaks in areas where water may be splashing out of the system. You may need to adjust the height of the liner or raise a low edge to contain splashes. After the water feature has been filled and you're satisfied with the way it looks, you can trim the excess liner with scissors, revealing the rock work we covered in the earlier stages. Leave about a foot of extra liner on all sides. They can be folded, tucked, and blended into backfill or under rock work. Part of the fun of building a water feature is playing in it. Spend some time fine-tuning your waterfall, using smaller rocks to adjust sound, direction, and flow. Add topsoil, mulch, and plants to surrounding areas to seamlessly blend your waterfall and stream into the landscape. Place aquatic and semi-aquatic plants into bog areas, planting roots directly into the gravel. Water features look breathtaking at night with the addition of accent lighting. Use a UL-approved Radiance Underwater Light Kit from Savio to make your waterfall really stand out. At last, all of your work has paid off, and you have a beautiful backyard paradise to enjoy for years to come. You'll appreciate the easy maintenance and superior water quality a pond-free system built with Savio products can provide. We hope you enjoy your new water feature.